Hello, I think I am live. Uh, let's see here. I've got to open this up so that I can see likes and comments and interact with all of you. <clears throat> all right. Give me one minute to get stuff logged in. I'm still getting used to this new um, program I have. If you are um, watching live, <coughs> excuse me, um, make sure that you say hello. I'm going to mute this. Let's see here. There, I think that's how you want to do this so that we don't have feedback. Just logging in here. When you hop on, say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. Yay, Robin! I'm so glad you could make it. Okay, I think this should work. Um, Robin, if you wouldn't mind letting me know, how is the sound? Are you hearing an echo or anything? I know that I have to um, mute one of my cameras. Um, so I muted the one and I want to make sure that um, it's good to go. For those of you who are just catching me and do not know me very well, um, my name is Rose Grunewald. Um, I'm in my stamping studio here in Holstein, Wisconsin. Um, my small business is Country Cards by Rose. I love to inspire your creativity. Um, I have found that being creative is like so important in my day-to-day. -day. Um, so uh, I started from home. I have a little bit more time over lunch hour to do... Um, okay, I'm going to check my sound here. Um, hopefully it's better now, Robin. If not, let me know. Um, I think it's so important to get that creativity in every day, and I've been doing it over lunch, so I thought, well, why not stamp with you guys over lunch instead of just doing it myself? Um, then you get to join me. So today, I have got, um, I actually am making a card. I was inspired by a sketch challenge, and I used the sketch to help me make a card that a friend requested. So, um, my friend, her and her husband got married on Halloween and their anniversary is coming up. She has seen my cards and said, Hey, could you make me an anniversary card for my husband? Something with a Halloween theme, but also a little romantic. And so, um, we're not going to make the exact same card that I made her because, um, I had to, ooh, I'm going to go this way so you can see it. I had to print out some lyrics to their wedding song, um, because we don't have a stamp that says it. But here inside, um, and I got to thinking, I've got some stamps that I could create a card similar to this. And so that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make a card like this. Um, I've got prizes too from last week's live. So um, stick around for the end. I'll do the prizes at the end. I want to get to stamping right away. Okay. So the first thing I want to tell you is... Um, my project today is based on a sketch. I absolutely love creative challenges and each week I've been playing along with the Globe Design Project. Um, today I am using their current sketch challenge uh, because I love to uh, be inspired and challenged to think outside the box for something like this. So this is the sketch that has inspired us. And we're going to do a little bit of stamping all around that sketch. So here we go. All right, I've got a few dive up pieces already here. Um, and there's only so much time for some of these fall and beautiful, rich fall Halloween type colors. So I'm using my Magic in Night Designer Series paper. I have got. Um, a goal to use on my designer series paper. Sometimes I'm afraid to cut into stuff. And I just want to highlight here that there are um, a lot of patterns here that while they are definitely Halloween themed, there are some that could be used all year round, like these beautiful black and white flowers. They're on trend right now. This um, pattern that's in the, I think it's called Pretty Peacock, right? Yes, Pretty Peacock shape. Also very in style right now. So we're going to use this. Lots of fun patterns here. Um, I bought these sleeves on Amazon not too long ago. This is how I store my paper. Um, okay. <clears throat> the sheet 
I'm using colors. I'm using Blackberry Bliss, Caved in Craze, and then this beautiful piece from the Diner Series paper. The other side has gorgeous black webs or doilies on. Um, but we're going to use a flowery page. Let me get my curl. I have notes over here so that I can remember dimensions. I'm cutting it live with you today. Now, again, for those of you who are hopping on watching, make sure to say hi and tell you where I'm from. Again, I'm from New Orleans. I love to know um, who's watching me and from where. If you're catching the replay, let me know. Say, hey, I'm watching the replay and let me know where you're from because even if you can't catch me live, I still want to know. Um, and remember, I love to spread creative joy. So, um, share my videos, share with your friends. The more that watch this, the merrier. And you share my videos, it makes me so happy. Plus, you get entered for a fabulous prize. Remember, I'm going to be drawing prizes at the end of the video here. So, okay, did you catch that? I just cut card base, and it is literally as simple as cutting this card stack in half. Now, I like to save my other piece either for die cutting because this is the perfect size to go for your big shot, um, or I'll use it for their card base for another project. Okay. So that's my berry bliss. That's going to be my card base here. Hi, Sue. Um, okay, now, I'm also going to do a piece of Cajun Craze. And this one is going to be three and three quarters by five inches. Before I cut it, let me make sure. Yes, okay. So three and three quarters. And then five inches up here. Usually I have all these pieces cut, but oh my, it's kind of a little bit active. All right, um, now it's gonna leave a really nice border of black berry bliss around here. And for our designer series paper, this one, let me see, yep, this one is going to be three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. So we're going one eighth of an inch shorter than our Caden Craze layer on both sides. And what that's gonna do is leave just a very sliver of color. That's one sixteenth of an inch um, of a border around these beautiful flowers. Okay, what are they now? Three and five eighths. So let's do this. Number, this designer sleeve paper is on a sale, 50% off along with a number of other designer series paper. And this month on my lives, I'm showing you all sorts of ways that you can use your designer series paper in, in simple, simple projects. Okay, and this is again an eighth of an inch shorter than five, and so we're going four and six. Now before we glue any of this down, I just want to show you, uh, most layers are going to be a quarter of an inch smaller to an eighth of an inch smaller, depending on how big you want that border. Um, and then sometimes I'll go in half an inch smaller so um, if this one is a half an inch hard base, you can see how much more of our border we have there. Um, so that's kind of my own rule of thumb. Half inch smaller, quarter inch smaller, eighth inch smaller. And that eighth inch smaller is giving me just that perfect pop of color. You're going to see how when we mount that on our card here, it really makes that color pop, okay? All right. Let me get my water. What are you guys drinking or eating over lunch break? I'm so curious. I eat late on the days that we go live. Um, and it's usually something simple. Okay, now let me talk about some of this die cutting. Okay, I'll go back to this sketch here for a minute. Don't mind my mouse in the... Okay, we've got this circle here going on um, in the center. And so I thought of a couple ways we could do that. And um, I really, really lately, I'm absolutely loving, loving, loving the stitched hook to... Um, a lot of these card layers, and it's super popular. There are a lot of guys now by Stampin' Up! with layers. So, I'm using these shaped framelits, and you've got some circles, some ovals, and some squares in the set. Um, I wanted to go with a circle, and I just want to show you something really cool that you can do here. All right, let me um, get my big shot platform here. I use the magnetic form. I love, love, love it. Um, and again, I haven't upgraded yet to the Stampin' Cut machine. I'm going to be doing that soon of how it folds up and you can travel with it compact. So, all right, you can layer, like these are called stitch shape frameless, but they're really great fearing um, and um, getting a circle with like an empty center, almost like a donut, right? So I'm just placing that in here. And because I'm using the magnetic plate, it all stays down. I'm gonna go over to my die cutting machine here. And I like to go through and really make sure that's die cut really well. 
All right, so now take a look here at what happens. Put these out. All right, this I have some strap that I can use. Now, when I pop these out of the dies, you see it have a hollow circle. That's what I'm looking for. And then I've got the center that, and I cut one out earlier. Um, I save these. I keep a little box of like, and then when I just need a little circle, it's like, oh, here, I can just use this one. So don't use that, guys. You can use them. All right. Now, I just want to set this aside here. I also, a little tip for you guys, I've had these magnetic sheets and I like to store my dies on there when they're not flopping everywhere. Okay. So we've got this um, circle in the pretty peacock color and that's going to match these leaves on the card. Now I was looking through my die collection because again, let's go back to our sketch. That's what inspiration is. See these flowers kind of going along the edge of the circle and I've got this beautiful Halloween white paper. I kind of wanted, it also, as I draw this beautiful flower, and I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect. This comes the, on the Flourish Thinlets dies. I bet you a lot of you watching have these dies because these have been on for a while. I've been super excited that they are carrying over from catalog because I use it as a goat, as you can tell. Now, I already prepared this one ahead of time. I used some basic black. I actually put a circle, but I wanted to show you how I die cut it. Um, I used the die and cut it out in a piece of basic black. And so we are going to um, use that as our climbing um, flower on the product here. And I'm going to start assembling my card. So let me go this down. You notice that I'm using my, um, I'm using my old snail adhesive. I want to use that up because I'm super excited by some of the new um, adhesive that Stampin' Up! just came out with. Uh, and you guys, designer series paper, look at how it makes it so pretty. You've already got an interesting card front there, and all you've done is glue a couple pieces of paper together. If you are afraid or nervous to, um, to cut up your designer series paper, buy two packs, you guys, because you need to be using this stuff. It is flippin' gorgeous. Okay, um, here's what we're gonna do, because I am gonna wait to, um, put this on here. I have this circle here, and you could do this um, a couple ways. You could use quick glue. I think that's what I'll do, um, because I'm going to use the glue that's later. And we've got our finer tip here. I don't want that glue to squirt out the edges, so I'm being a little bit ginger. And I'm apply. Hi, is it Winnie? I always say win, and I look and I think it's Pony. So honey, I'm glad that you could catch me live today. I see we've got quite a few people watching now. So say hello, tell me where you're from. I love to know who's watching. Oh gosh, of course I dropped this. All right, we are going to glue this on here. I'm really glad that our eyes are clear. And of course, now I've got glue fingers and that like, guys, I don't know about you, but as a craft, body fingers is like the worst. I hate it, just bleh. I hate having the sticky fingers. Having it off right away. All right, I have got my um, my circle glued down and then um, <clears throat> I want this flower coming in here but I don't need the whole thing so I'm kind of paying attention to where I think I can cut that off and I'm noticing it's right about this leaf. so I don't want this ta um, tail hanging off so let me grab my snips and I'm just going to like that, no big deal. Right. Okay, I think that looks really nice. Now this is a pretty intricate die, so what I like to do is um, use your take your pick tool, um, or I've got this little thing. I'm going to my glue dots here, and I'm going to use my glue dots to um, glue this flower down. So I'm just going to pick a couple to tuck that in here. And um, I am okay if this goes off this layer a little bit. Remember, we've got some room um, on our layer. Okay. So let me just adhere this in a couple more places. I like to roll this up. There we go. And we stick that under. 
like so. And I think one more, I don't want to do one more down here. I don't want that falling off, right? Right. So how's work going? Mine has been so busy. I was super excited to get on here and stamp. I see that you are probably on your lunch break at work. Hey, um, I love pretty ribbon. You know I love ribbon. I have this extra piece left over from a card kit that I got, which is one of the prizes I'm giving away, by the way. Um, and this card, I feel like, would not be complete without some ribbon. So I am going to tie this around this layer. Now this ribbon, let me look at what this is. I never remember the names of this stuff. Glitter Organdy Ribbon. It is beautiful. And as I was crafting with it the other day, I got to thinking, you know, this would be really, really pretty for like, a romantic um, Valentine's card too. So think of the box um, than just, think outside the box more than just Halloween with this stuff, guys. Okay. Oh, Patty says she loves these colors together. Thank you. I do too. Um, I love the tone of these and my favorite way to get inspired on uh, colors that work well together is to look at the colors that um, Stampin' Up! puts together on their designer series of paper. I'm getting feedback that my video keeps going in and out. I hope you're not doing very well here. Thank you for being patient with me. Next time I'm trying to get with my phone or disconnect my work computer from um, the internet before I go live. Right. So I am going to put this under this flower. So we've got ribbon layer across front. Now, on the card I made my friend, got some song lyrics here. Well, looks I want to use our Stampin' Up! stuff. And so I thought, how fun that this is an anniversary card. And I've got this scrap right here of Cajun Craze. <coughs> so this well said stamp set, there are um, so, so many... I'm sorry, I keep seeing my videos interrupted. I promise to fix that next time, you guys. Um, also, I want to note, I will put the replay of this on YouTube. So you can catch the replay um, on YouTube. I'll post it here. I'm so sorry for the interruption. This is so embarrassing. I feel horrible that you guys keep getting. Um, okay, so well said. This is like everything. And so I went for a happy anniversary and I saw anniversary. And then I think there was in here somewhere where Hooray. I could do anniversary wishes. That'd be beautiful. I thought I saw happy on here. Oh my, you hey. Here we go, happy. All right, so let me get a couple blocks out. Happy. Oh, Sue's work is crazy. Thank goodness oils. You know what's funny? My oils keep me from getting a little bit crew. Um, okay. Now, to find anniversaries, you're probably looking and screaming right there, Rose. Here we go, right in the bottom. All right. What color do you think we should stamp happy anniversary in? I, I kind of want to do pretty pink, but I don't know if that will show up very good on the Cajun craze. So I don't have luck with that. Otherwise, I think I'm just going to do my mundo here. It should be easy D. All right. Make sure we're good and inked. I need to read my um, image from a uh, memento pad. That's how you know you're a crafter, when things like that make you super excited. All right. Happy Henry. There we go. Move it. Okay, and we are going to... Um, I'm going to put these into a couple squares. So this is what I love about small sentiments like this. It's really super easy to kind of tuck these in to your card layer. <clears throat> now you guys, I don't know if you know this, you're watching me stamp right now, but on Monday, you are gonna get the chance to stamp with me. I am, for the first time ever, I'm so excited, you guys. I think this is gonna be so much fun. I am doing a mystery stamping event, okay? I think, with being safer at home and social distancing. It's super, super, super important to do super fun good things like this. And um, so what I have done is I've got a card prepared for Monday night. It's going live at seven o'clock uh, right here on this page. And I have clues, clues as far as um, for how you can make your card. And then we're gonna stand together 
And then after the clues are done, there will be a post where you can share the cards that you made with fun and kind of get inspired by everybody's projects. It will be so much fun to see the cards that everyone made with the same clues. And here's the thing, I'm calling this double mystery event because everyone who places order with me, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get these off, you guys. Everyone who places an order with me um, for that event of at least $25 will enter to win the mystery hostess. So when you are a mystery hostess, then you could win the host um, credits from Stampin' Up! So everyone's order goes just like you're hosting a party. And if you are chosen to win the mystery hostess, you win the hostess shopping spree from Stampin' Up! Isn't that awesome? And I'm going to give you one drawing for every $25 increment of your order that you put in. So you get one entry for that. So if you place like a $100 order in that event, you will um, get four entries to the hostess. It's going to be awesome. I, I'm so excited. I have been talking nonstop to my husband about it ever since um, I, I thought, okay, I'm going to do this. And he's probably really sick of hearing me talk about it. Can you imagine, Stu? John hearing me talk about this all the time. He's like, yeah, I get it. You're doing a mystery event. Okay, I'm distracted. I'm popping this layer on Dimensionals. And how do you like where I put this happy anniversary? Isn't it beautiful? I think that it turned out really nice, by the way. The black on the Cajun craze. All right, and we are going to um, pop this layer up and get it here to our card front. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. This turned out so awesome, guys. Um, yeah, so poor John. He's so sick of hearing me talk about this darn um, mystery stamping event. And I'm so darn excited for it. Oh, my gosh. I think you guys are going to have a blast. Um, I cannot wait to see all your creations. I'm super excited. Um, okay, so we have our card front done. It's like the big wow is over, you guys, right? But you know, I gotta stamp the inside of my cards too. You have to take your creativity to the inside. Um, so let's cut an inside layer. I'm gonna do cage craze here. Cut this like I do my normal card layers. I do almost every inside layer the same size and like layers in there. Um, four inches by five and a quarter. So I mean, this is one of those, I go a quarter of an inch smaller like I talked about earlier. Thank you, Robin. I saw that you said you might attend the event. I'm super excited. Um, you said, what a fun idea for Monday. I can't wait, you guys. I, I've i never done anything like this, but I've wanted to. Um, so I'm so excited. I can't wait to see how everybody's, um, how everybody's cards turn out. It'll be awesome. All right. I am looking for a fun, how about celebrating another year of happiness? And... Well, this is not against block, so let me go to my 3D block here, um, and what I will do is stamp this in the center of our card. Robin, this beautiful card. Thank you. What do you guys think? Do you love it? Hit that love button. That makes me happy. It totally makes my day when I'm done, and look, and I see loves and likes and all that jazz because I want to inspire you, and it's so much fun. All right, I'm trying to get this in the I'm not always good at that, but that's why paper has two sides, just in case. Okay, we've got celebrate another year of happiness. Oh, I think that's so sweet. I feel like I have hearts or something. Uh, I have here. You know, this Everything Essential um, stamp kit has some really cutesy, uh, not just Halloween or Christmas. They've got some Valentine's stuff in here, and I thought maybe they have a heart, and I was right. So here is a heart, and let's just do a little... bit of hearts. I don't know. Do you guys hear the wind? I have no idea if my microphone is picking that up or not. Um, but it's really windy here. Um, it's like shaking my windows. I'm like, I'm not sure if you guys hear that, but we've had a lot of wind lately. Okay, let me move some of this stuff out of the so you can see my project. And um, okay, I see me using liquid glue a lot of times, and I mentioned that I'm trying to use up my snail here. I want to talk about the inside of your card. Um, sometimes these tape rolls, are, so when you go to write a message, it's a little bit easier for you to write on here. And I noticed that when I went to write a sumong message to my niece, we have become pen pals during the COVID pandemic. And it was hard for me to write when the liquid glue had kind of dried. Never. So that was a little tip that I learned, and I've started using snail on a lot of 
um, sorry, I smells not the kind of, I'm using it up so I can buy the new stamp stuff. Um, but I'm gonna use the tape on my side. So I just need a little bling. What do you think? I like bling, and this is an Anna card, and you know we've got some sparkles. Ooh, I like these tones. I think it'll bring out some of that Cajun, don't you think? So let's get some rhinestones going in here. We'll go here. I always add these in three in odd numbers. Let's go here. So it's either going to be like three or five or seven. Let's do one here. Shoot. Okay, guys. I like to store these in an empty stamp case. It works well to keep it here on my desk, and it's an easy go to. So I'm going to turn this one so you can see this a little better. Um, okay, here is my finished card. Isn't that gorgeous? And let me bring this in so you can see. What do you think? There is our inspiration. Here's our finished card. And here's the card I made my friend. Just absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love how this turned out. These colors are beautiful. And listen, it's not Halloween. This is an anniversary card, you guys. Do not neglect this magic in this night designer series. It would be pretty all your own. So, um, okay. Turn this light off so it's not in my face. Thank you so much for joining live today or watching the replay. Um, I'm going to post the details in my blog address um, and link it up here um, at the top so you can go there um, to see more projects from me, see more details. You'll also have a chance to sign up for my newsletter while you're there. And you should do that because you get to hear about super, super fun um, events like my double mystery stand night. It's time for prizes. I do not want to forget prizes. So I got these here. Okay. So you remember last week we went live and I showed you this here maybe the light would help I think that light helps I showed you this beautiful card I don't want the glare though here we go this beautiful card that you can use and see both sides your designer series paper my microphone is in the way hopefully that's not too distracting um okay so here's what we made uh, so first of all for likes and comments um, the winner of this gorge card, which I'm going to send to you, is Barb Path and Roth. Thank you, Barb, for interacting with me. I had, um, I love when I see comments. Barb, I do not have your address, so make sure you reach out to me and get me your address uh, before next week's live, and I will send this in the mail to you. But I'm going to keep showing this card because, remember, I also um, gave you an opportunity to win um, a card pack so you can make this project at home okay and uh, there's two ways you can win this because i have two of them here um one you can sign up for my newsletter and you can do that by going to my blog a pop-up comes up otherwise in the upper right hand corner and when you sign up for my newsletter where you can hear all about my events you also get a 15 card tutorial to make 15 gorgeous cards so the winner for my newsletter um, for the door prize is Karen Cars. So Karen, you win this card pack, and in this card pack, you're gonna get to make this card. Gorgeous. So um, Karen, I need your address. Get that to me again by next week, so I get that out in the mail to you. And then, because I had another pack cut, my next prize is for um, my shares. And so the winner for sharing my video is the card pack is Robin Raditz. Thanks, Robin. Uh, I have your address on there. If not, I will reach out because we're friends on Facebook. We are connected from our stamping, our love of stamping. Um, and I will get this in the mail to you um, shortly. I'm hoping by tomorrow I could get that out. So congratulations, ladies. Thank you so much. I've got your names in here, so I know who won. Um, thank you for stamping along with me. And um, make sure you join me Monday. For my mystery stamping event, there's an event on page, click going. Make sure you get those notifications so you don't miss anything. I already have the supplies listed. You can get those ready this weekend so you can stamp with me Monday night, 7 o'clock, right here on Country Card Bros Facebook page. I'm also doing it on Zoom. So for those of you who are not on Facebook um, that are getting this replay in the newsletter, you can connect on Zoom. And <coughs> Ooh, I'm talking too much, guys. I'll be live again here next Wednesday, 1130, over the lunch break. Um, and I will see you then. I don't see you Monday, but I know I'm going to see you Monday because that's going to be super fun. All right. Back to work, you guys. Have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will be stamping with you again soon. See you later.